So what is linear bearings? We can simply say linear bearings provides a smooth linear motion due to recirculating balls. Means जैसे radial ball bearings में balls होते हैं around the circumference, वैसे ही linear bearings में balls होते हैं around the length. और ये कई types के होते हैं अलग अलग applications के लिए. For example, linear guide blocks with guiding rails, linear ball bushing. लीनियर बैरिंग ब्लॉक से सिंपल होती है जो कि डिजाइंड रहता है एक हार्ड क्रोम साफ्ट में मोशन करने के लिए एंड दिस वन इज बॉल गाइड्स और वी कैन सिंपली से बॉल स्लाइडर्स वी कैन ऑल्सो इंक्लूड स्प्लाइन साफ्ट इन दिस कैटेगरी बट यहाँ पे हम लीनियर गाइड्स की डिटेल में नहीं जाएंगे क्योंकि ये वीडियो काफ़ी लंबी हो जाएगी बट अगर आप डिटेल में जानना चाहते हैं कि कहाँ पे किस एप्लीकेशन के लिए कौन सी गाइड को यूज करना चाहिए और इसके पीछे रीजन क्या होता है प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट मैं इसके ऊपर एक सिंगल वीडियो बना दूंगा और अगर हम इस प्रेस एप्लीकेशन की बात करें तो यहाँ पे हम लीनियर गाइड ब्लॉक भी यूज कर सकते हैं और लीनियर बुश बैरिंग भी यूज कर सकते हैं बट यहाँ पे हम लीनियर बुश बैरिंग को ही यूज करेंगे जस्ट टू कीप डिजाइन सिंपल और यहाँ पे हमें लीनियर गाइड्स पेयर्स में यूज करना होगा क्योंकि लीनियर बुश बैरिंग में रोटेशनल मोशन भी होता है तो इसलिए हमें इसे पेयर में यूज करना चाहिए और बैरिंग्स को हम माउंट कर देंगे इस नोमेटिक प्लेट के साथ इस नोमेटिक माउंटिंग प्लेट के साथ समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेड द कैड मॉडल ऑफ द बैरिंग बाय द वे यहां पे हम मेटेलिक बुश भी यूज कर सकते हैं बट वो स्मूथ मोशन नहीं करेगा और हो सकता है कि न्यूमेटिक सिलेंडर जर्क के साथ चले सो इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर टू यूज द लीनियर बॉल बैरिंग एज फार एज रेडियल लोड बहुत ज्यादा ना हो सो लेट्स ब्रिंग द लीनियर बैरिंग गो टू द इंसर्ट कंपोनेंट एंड सेलेक्ट द लीनियर बैरिंग और यहाँ पे मैंने लीनियर बैरिंग आई डी दिस इज द ट्वेंटी एम एम डायमीटर सो वट वी कैन डू वी कैन माउंट दिस ऑबर दिस प्लेट एंड दिस इज द कॉम्पैक्ट टाइप ऑफ लीनियर बुश बैरिंग so mount this on this plate we have to measure the mounting size of the bush bearing so the outer diameter is 32 mm and the hole size is a counter bolt hole and its size is 5.5 mm and if we check the center distance so center distance is 36 mm at one side and this is 24 mm so what we can do just open the part and take the sketch and select the center line and sketch the line right here also sketch on this side and make them equal and set the gap up whatever you want but i think we should take it to 140 we will check it later and if we required we will modify it now go to the circle and make the circle at these two point and first just make them equal and now go to the smart dimension and set the dimension of 28 mm this is the outer dimension of the bearing bush now hit okay close the sketch and now just select the sketch and go to the extrude cut and set it to through all and hit okay now we have to make the mounting holes so go to the sketch select the face select the rectangle tool select center rectangle tool and start from the origin at both side and just make the sides equal here also and here also okay and now just set the length of 36 mm as we measured and this was 24 mm hit okay close the sketch go to the feature go to the hole wizard and select the threaded hole and select it to m5 as we measured and now go to the position and make the holes and hit okay now we can just hide the sketches and now just go to the fillet take the chamfer and chamfer the edges 
okay i'm taking it to 10 mm it's all up to you now make the chamfer in the holes also so just click on the circumference and now it's look crazy <laughs> but we can set the dimension to 1 mm and hit ok and now everything is fine so just close it and now we can just make this into the holes so go to the mat and go to the concentric and select the outer face and the cutting hole and hit ok and here just concentric the holes and hit ok now we can also rest it now here we go now we can make a copy of it and place it at other side also I'm just repeating the process and now take it to front view so हम इस बुश में यहाँ पे साफ डालेंगे एट अदर साइड ऑल्सो बट ये साफ्ट को हम अभी कनेक्ट नहीं कर पाएंगे इस प्रेसिंग जिक के साथ सो वट वी कैन डू वी कैन मेक अ वन मोर प्लेट राइट हेयर और इस प्लेट के साथ हम इस साफ्ट को कनेक्ट कर देंगे थ्रू द बोल्ट्स और इस प्रेसिंग जिक को हम माउंट कर देंगे इस प्लेट के ऊपर ओके सो लेट्स मेक द पार्ट सो लेट्स क्रिएट द पार्ट गो टू द न्यू गो टू द न्यू पार्ट एंड गो टू द स्केच सेलेक्ट टॉप प्लेन गो टू द सेंटर रेक्टेंगल टूल राइट हियर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन गो टू द डायमेंशन एंड सेट द डायमेंशन टू टू हंड्रेड एम एम जो कि सिलेंडर माउंटिंग प्लेट की वर्थ है वी कैन एडजस्ट इट लेटर और यहाँ पे इसकी वर्थ को हम 90 एम mm सेट करते हैं क्योंकि जो प्रेसिंग जिग है उसकी भी वर्थ 90 एम mm है नाउ जस्ट हिट ओके गो टू द फीचर एक्सटूड इट एंड यू कैन टेक द थिकनेस वाट एवर यू फील बट आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग इट टू 12 और 14 दैट इज परफेक्ट बट 14 लुक्स बल्कि सो वट वी कैन डू टेक इट टू ट्वेल्व एम एम एंड सेव इट with name of slide plate and we can set the material to mild steel and close it and now go to the assembly and insert the slide plate right here and now let's make the shaft so go to the new go to the part go to the sketch and take the sketch and take the top plane select the circle and start from the origin go to the smart dimension and set the dimension of 20 mm aur ye jo 20 mm hai ye g6 mein hoga so just select it go to the fit go to the fit and tolerance and we can set it g6 just to remind while making the drawing and just close it and go to the feature extrude boss and we can take it to 200 mm because cylinder stroke is 150 mm we will adjust it later and now go to the material and select the material to there is no hard chrome steel plate so i'm just taking to chrome stainless steel but you don't have to use stainless steel you just have to use chrome plated steel shaft and just save it with the name of linear shaft and close it now go to the insert component and select the linear shaft right here and now go to the mat and select concentric and select the shaft and the clearance hole hit okay and just make a copy of it and again mate this shaft with the linear bearing and now just take it to front view and check it so here will be our plate something like this and there will be our shaft so here we have to mount this plate with the shaft so we can make the clearance hole 
on this plate and the threaded hole in this sub. So first let's make the threaded hole in sub. So just open it and go to the sketch. Take the sketch right here and select the point. Exit the sketch. Go to the hole wizard and select the threaded hole and size of M6 or we can go for M8 also there is no problem so select M8 into 1.25 and here change the end condition to blind and set it to 20mm so go to the position go to the 3D sketch and select the point and hit ok and now top of that we can add the chamfer so go to the chamfer and select the edges and set the chamfer to 1 mm and go back to the assembly but hole yahan upar ho gaya hai so what we can do just open it go to the sketch select the sketch and edit the sketch plane and currently this face is selected so what we have to do just select this face and hit ok the thread position has been changed we can just hide the sketch and go back to the assembly awesome now what we have to do we have to make the holes on this plate so just measure the center distance between this shaft which was 140 mm so just open the part and take the sketch take the sketch on the plane now just start from middle of this edge and make the sketch something like this and make them equal the side lines hit ok and now just set the gap up 140 mm close the sketch go to the feature go to the hole wizard and again go to the clearance hole and select clearance hole here and set the size of m8 and set it to through all now go to the position and make the holes and hit ok and hide the sketch now just let's back to the assembly and what we can do we can just make the holes with a threaded hole and also at this side and just coincide this face with the cylinder and also at this side now what we have to do we have to mount this pressing jig to this plate so what we will do we will make the clearance hole or counter bolt hole in this part in this nylon part and make the threaded hole in this plate so there is a thing we should always avoid the thread in nylon block or plastic block because if we have more torque tight then the thread miss ho sakta hai. so first make the hole in pressing jig so open it go to the sketch select the sketch and take the rectangle tool center rectangle tool and take it like this and set the dimension to whatever you feel i'm taking it 45 and here i'm taking it 35 roughly and just close the sketch or we can spread it more so just edit the sketch and let's make it 55 i think it's awesome and change it to 45 and let's have a look okay now just close the sketch go to the feature go to the hole wizard and go to the counter bolt hole and select the socket head cap screw and set the size to m6 and set it to through all you can take the hole size whatever you like to i'm just making the hole at the corners 
of the sketch and now just hit ok and you can hide the sketch this is fine now go back to the assembly and now what we have to do we have to make the threaded hole on this plate so open it go to the sketch take the sketch select the face and take the rectangle tool and start from the origin and as we said the distance of length was 55 and the width 45 mm and now just close it go to the feature go to the threaded hole and set the size of m6 which is fine go to the position 3d sketch and mark the corner positions and hit ok just hide the sketch and go back to the assembly now what we have to do we have to just concentric the holes just make this hole concentric also okay now just make them on side and this plate is little extra so what we can do we can decrease the length of the plate so first measure the maximum length between this between this shaft so set it to max distance and this is 160 <coughs> so what we can do we can make the size of 170 it's all up to you okay now it's look fine just have a look from the side so the plate is here and this is here and it will place it properly it's no problem and from this side there is also no issue and now I'm going to finally connect the pneumatic cylinder with this plate but before that i want your closer attention here yahan pe float plate with shaft linear ball bearing mein precisely guide hoke motion karega aur yahan pneumatic cylinder mein bhi piston cylinder mein precisely guide hoke up and down karega aur agar hum yahan pe simply pneumatic cylinder ke piston rod ko directly connect kar denge pressing jig mounting plate mein threaded hole bana ke aur agar yahan dono guidance ke beech mein linear ball wearing with the shaft guidance mein aur pneumatic cylinder with piston guidance mein agar ek minor se bhi misalignment hoti hai aur minor misalignment hoti hi hoti hai due to the manufacturing and assembly process variations to jo dono guide mein kam rigid hoga wo sabse jyada wear and tear hoga isliye agar pneumatic cylinder ek guide motion mein operate ho raha ho to hame hamesha misalignment ko absorb karne ke liye float joint ko use karna chahiye ye ek flexible coupling ki tarah kaam karta hai radial aur angular misalignment ko absorb kar leta hai ye standard brands mein bhi available hota hai ya fir hum ise manufacturing bhi kar sakte hain aur maine float joint ki cad model ko already download kar rakha hai pneumatic cylinder ki thread ke according so let's insert it into the assembly right here just rotate it aur is float joint ki size m12 ki hai kyunki pneumatic cylinder ki rod ki thread size m12 ki hai now just make them concentric and now we can mount this with the threaded hole so what we have to do just open the part take the sketch and take a point in middle and exit the sketch go to the feature go to the hole wizard and here in threaded hole select the size of m12 into 1.25 aur ye ek non standard hole hai बट नोमेटिक सिलेंडर की थ्रेड साइज कुछ ऐसा ही आता है एंड नाउ जस्ट पोजिशन इट एंड मेक द होल हेयर एंड हिट ओके एंड गो बैक टू द असेंबली एंड हेयर 
we can just make them coincide and now just try to simulate it but pneumatic cylinder function ke accordingly assembly is ki set nahi hai so just open the pneumatic cylinder assembly right here what we can do first take a cross section and section it so jo pneumatic cylinder ke piston hai wo is pneumatic cylinder ke tdc se bdc tak motion karega so what we can do just go to the mat go to the advanced mat and select width and at this width section just select the faces of the pneumatic cylinder and in tab section just select the face of the piston and here you can set it to free and hit okay and now we can move the piston within the pneumatic cylinder a stroke so just uncheck it and go back to the assembly and what we have to do just click on the air cylinder and make it flexible and now we can simulate it within the stroke jab pneumatic cylinder puri tarah se down hogi is cover mein isko press karna chahiye but abhi yahan pe ye touch nahi ho raha hai so what we can do we can just measure the gap and gap is the 10 mm so what we can do we can just decrease the height of this vertical plate so just double click on it and minus it by 20 mm and rebuild it and now why 20 mm kyunki agar ye zyada bhi stroke chalega tab bhi ye press to utna hi karega यहाँ प्रेस होने के बाद चाहे नोमेटिक सिलेंडर में 10 एम mm का स्ट्रोक बचे या 50 एम mm का प्रेसिंग फोर्स उतना ही आएगा एंड नाउ व्हाट वी कैन डू वी कैन सेट द लेंथ ऑफ द साफ्ट सो जस्ट मेक इट प्लस 50 एम मोर एंड नाउ दिस इज परफेक्टली फाइन ओप्स क्योंकि ये तो प्रेस हुआ ही नहीं था तो इसे हम और भी नीचे करेंगे और अब नीचे करके देखते हैं this is fine but why to take the risks so what we can do we can make it simply 1 150 and check it okay so now there is enough a stroke to press this mesh cover into the bottom base of the speaker We can also add the stopper on this shaft. और ऐसा हम किस केस में करेंगे जब हमें हमारी रिक्वायरमेंट ऐसी हो कि ये प्रेस होने के बाद कि प्रेसिंग लोड के एक्स्ट्रा और कोई प्रेशर इसके ऊपर नहीं आना चाहिए ऑल्सो वी कैन एड द पैड्स एंड ऑल दैट एंड नाउ वी कैन ट्राई टू एड द चैम्फर्स we can also chamfer the fixture so just let's open it also we should make the fillet right here so select these edges and make it 10 mm or 15 mm it's all up to you and now just close it and now what we can do we can add the chamfer in pressing plate also so just Chem for it. Or if you want, you can just decrease the size of this plate, base plate. So let's try it 180 mm. Okay. So what we have to do? Just change it to 180 mm. And also change the top press to 180 mm. Change the center distance. So just double click on it and change it to 120 mm. we also have to change the center distance on this plate to 120 mm and now it's look more compact and that is the beauty of doing the work in very sequential way so that you can change the any dimension any size of the plate at any time okay to yahan pe humne pneumatic press system ki design ko complete kar liya hai 
और अब इसे हम मैन्युफैक्चर कर सकते हैं और वीडियो के अगले पार्ट में हम सीखेंगे कि इस नोमेटिक प्रेस सिस्टम में नोमेटिक सिलेंडर को ऑपरेट करने के लिए हमें कौन सा नोमेटिक वाल्व यूज करना चाहिए उसके बाद हम इस नोमेटिक सिस्टम की पूरी सर्किट को डिजाइन करेंगे और हम ये भी जानेंगे कि हमें कहाँ पे एफ को यूज नहीं करना चाहिए तो चलिए मिलते हैं वीडियो के अगले पार्ट में अगला पार्ट आपके स्क्रीन पे आ रहा होगा या फिर आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में भी मिल जाएगा एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द वॉचिंग